What is up, side hustlers, entrepreneurs, business builders, and dream makers? Welcome to the Side Your Side Hustle Podcast, episode 47. So great to be back in your earbuds once again, as we are every single day of the week, weekdays only. Sorry, we take the weekends off. We like to enjoy our lives as well as building our businesses. So that's uh, that's what we do here. Uh, today, guys, I am excited because I want to have a fun, lighthearted, probably short conversation with you. Yesterday, I gave you a ton of value, a long form episode for sure. Uh, but today, well, first off, I woke up sick, so I am sick. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice or not. This is actually the second time I've gotten sick since starting this daily podcast, which we started only a couple months ago. So something's going on with me. I don't know if it's stress, anxiety, what it is, but I've been sick more often than I probably should be. I do travel a lot, so I think that might be it. Today, I wanted to share a story with you guys that I thought could be inspirational. And there is a teaching in it that I think you absolutely want to take note of. So here's the story. About three years ago, give or take, three years ago, I started a membership company. And in this membership company, what I did was I built a free plus shipping offer where I had a funnel where I promoted these necklaces right here. If you get, if you don't see because you're listening, um, this is a cross necklace with the Jesus fish around the cross. Very nice necklace. I like them a lot. Obviously, I sold literally hundreds of them, um, almost a thousand just shy of a thousand. Um, and at the peak of the membership, we had over 300 people in the membership, which was by far the most success I had ever had in business up to that point in my life. I had 300 paying subscribers. I was actually still working in my day job as a, um, as a teacher, which was uh, one of the things where I really got on that whole uh, micro membership idea, how they can actually help you hit escape velocity, uh, was really exciting, fun time. And um, here's here's the thing. I started, you know, started trying to scale and started trying to grow. And suddenly the, 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 the ads that we were running, that ad account got banned by Facebook. To this date, three years later, that ad account is still not allowed to run ads on Facebook. Now, to be completely transparent, completely honest with you, I actually um, had a lot of conversations with Facebook's technical support during their 30-day review process, and their technical support actually just explicitly admitted to me that this was a problem on the tech side on their end, and that my ad account was in good standing. They just needed to fix this glitch. That's what they told me three years ago, uh, 2020, uh, 2019, 2020, somewhere in that realm. Um, and I said, okay, cool. And then when the 30 day period for a uh, review elapsed, suddenly the account was shut down and it said this decision is final. I could no longer communicate with customer support on through that system, uh, through that ad account. And suddenly this business is dead in the water. So immediately what we tried to do is we tried to uh, set up another ad account because it's all of our ads and everything we were doing was compliant. We figured, okay, let's just relaunch this. But we couldn't get the pixel trained on the new ad account. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, it's a mystery to me still. We couldn't get that new uh, pixel train. And so our ads weren't profitable. Our ads on the initial um, on the initial campaign, by the way, when you look at lifetime value of the customer, uh, were like 8x ROA, uh, return on ad spend. It was like phenomenal. It was great. Uh, but when we tried this on this new ad account, we couldn't get the pixel trained. Uh, so we started trying different avenues. We started trying, you know what? If we can't run ads on Facebook, let's go ahead and try to run YouTube ads. Let's run TikTok ads. Let's do, um, we did like uh, uh, like solo ads, email, like direct response email ads. We, we tried all sorts of different things and none of them could get us a positive return on, on marketing spend. So that business ended up being dead in the water. Um, and so we just watched as our clients churned out of the program and our monthly um, base re revenue dwindled until it was gone. Now, here's the lesson from this. Um, you should never allow yourself to have a single point of failure in your business. For us, that single point of failure was that we only had one successful marketing channel. Um, so what I would recommend doing is on a weekly or monthly basis, taking some time to step back and just ask yourself the question, whiteboard it out, ask yourself the question, where are the failure points in the business? Where are our single points of failure? And then take the next month and say, let's see if we can't fix that and get that out of the business. Because I knew 
that we were dependent on Facebook ads. And I wasn't particularly worried about it. I said, yeah, we're dependent on Facebook ads, you know, and at a certain point, we will not be dependent on Facebook ads anymore because I knew that long term that wasn't wise, but I wasn't very proactive about it. I was trying to scale up the Facebook ads and make more money immediately. Uh, what I should have done is got proof of concept, got some consistency, and then immediately just turn that profit, all the profit that we were getting from there into developing a second revenue stream. If we would have been building the another traffic source, two, three, four traffic sources, while the membership was growing instead of while it was declining, we would have had a lot longer to experiment and run with it and try to get it to be a more stable. This is very similar to the conversation we had a couple of weeks ago where I talked to you about um, your concentration risk rate and how you want to have that low enough that you have a stable company. Well, similarly, what it means to have a stable company is to mean that the company can't be turned off overnight. And if you're reliant on one platform, your company can be turned off overnight. If all of your traffic comes from SEO, well, Google can change their algorithms and boom, you're dead in the water. If all of your tra if all of your traffic comes from a Facebook ad like ours did, then Facebook can ban your account over overnight and boom, you're dead in the water. That's what happened to us. Marketing is not the only place where we see this. We see single points of failure everywhere in business. And so my recommendation to you today is to actually take some time, look at your business and say, hey, are there any points of failure? Now, to be perfectly fair, I think what we do as we build is you build the thing and you you get one traffic source working and you focus on one traffic source until you know it's working. Then you immediately start building other traffic sources. I think that's the correct approach. It's minimizing risk while also maintaining focus. So that's what I have for you guys today. Just wanted to share that with you. I'll be back in your earbuds once again tomorrow as I am every single day of the week. Tomorrow is actually Wednesday. And as you know, on Wednesdays, we like to do book reviews. So tomorrow I'm going to be talking to you about one of the books on my bookshelves here and whether it's good or bad. You know, I love you guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow. God bless.